Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Hashtag Ash Joy. Thank you to those of you who are tuning in. I am Joy M. Hutton, your favorite trainer and business strategist, also founder and principal consultant of Joy of Consulting, where we help companies with their organizational structure through training and development and process optimization. Okay, so I've been talking to a lot of people about bad managers, and I've even done an episode on how to deal with horrible bosses. Good managers are so hard to come by, and that may be because either they have a lack of training or just do not have the experience to be in that position. So what are the qualities of a good manager? I'll discuss some of those today, and it's something to think about. And not all good managers are good leaders. That's something I'll cover in another episode. Okay, so let's get started. A good manager, number one, has actual experience working in a professional environment and leading a team. Some managers have gotten their job because they've risen in the ranks or because of a family friend and they've been with the company a long time. This does not make them qualified to be a manager. Being a good manager requires a particular skill set and must be acquired through experience or again, proper training. And you all know how big I am on training. Number two, a good manager is an effective communicator. I just talked about this last week, but a good manager must be able to effectively communicate with their team. That means listening to them and providing clear direction on task. Number three, a good manager is organized. If a manager is not organized in his or her role, there are good chances that their employees will be involved in chaos as well. So there are plenty of resources and tools to help people get organized. There is no excuse. Number four, a good manager knows how to manage their time. If a manager is late every day, what do you expect the employees to think about this? Well, they may think it's acceptable for them to be late. A manager sets a tone for the workplace culture. But time management is also important when it comes to prioritizing your day, making sure you have time to communicate with your employees and accomplish goals throughout the week. All right, number five, a good manager is reliable. This means an employee can count on their manager, being available for their employees, getting things done that they said they would do and supporting their team however they need it. Number six, they know how to delegate. If a person does not know how to delegate projects and tasks, their role as a manager would be a lot more difficult. So it's okay to ask your employees to complete a task. That's what they're there for. Some managers think it's easier to do everything themselves because they do not want to relinquish any control. But this will only add stress and more time to their already busy schedule. So. Don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed. Delegate the tasks to your employees. Allow them to do what they are there for. Number seven, a good manager is confident. If a manager is not confident in their abilities, how are employees expected to trust them? A good manager is confident in his or her abilities, experience, and decisions. Confidence is in oneself will also inspire the team to do a better job or to do their job, period. Okay, and finally, a good manager has respect for their employees. If a manager does not respect their employees, there will definitely be tension in the workplace. A good manager respect their, respects their employees' time and abilities and is able to give constructive feedback as well as be a resource to them. Okay. That's all I've got. If you are not a good manager, there is still room for improvement. You must put in the work. Thank you for watching. I am Joy M. Hutton, your favorite trainer and business strategist. I will see you guys here next Friday. Thank you. Like, comment, and share.